So hello people, how are you going today? And this is a beautiful day to show you a nice coin from Papua New Guinea. Now, this is a coin of 50 toa, and if any of you collect Papua New Guinea coins, you'll know that there is no regular coin for the 50 toa. They are all commemorative coins, and they issued roughly in the span every five years. Uh, this one is a uh, 2015 and the previous commemorative coin is 2008 uh, 2000 98 91 and 80 and as far as I know these all circulate in Papua New Guinea um, Now this is the colored one. I'm not too sure if the coloured coins actually circulate but there is also a plain one of this design except the patterns here are, are just slightly different they have more like a zigzaggy triangular shape and as you can see this is um, the uh, 15 Pacific Games and it has the colours the same as the uh, Olympic rings Black, yellow, blue, green, red. And this is a, uh, it's like a Commonwealth Games, but it includes all, almost all Pacific countries and territories. So you have countries like Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Australia, and New Zealand, but those two countries only in certain sports. Um, Micronesia, and then you have uh, territories like New Caledonia, Tahiti, Guam, American Samoa. And the areas that are not included would be Easter Island, Galapagos, and uh, Hawaii, because Hawaii is part of the United States. It's not classed as a territory or a country. Okay, so if you have a look closer. As you can see, in the middle has um, it could be a sailing boat, and with uh, these could be like sails, and this could be the actual boat or the water, and the two three dots can be a boat in the water, or it could be someone jumping up, probably doing some type of routine. Looks like dancing, but it could be like pole vaulting or something like that. Whichever way you want to interpret, it's more of an abstract image representing a person. And this is only the second coloured coin issued by Papua New Guinea. They did issue one in 2008. And that one was um, to commemorate uh, the Bank of Papua New Guinea. I presume the 35th anniversary of the Bank of Papua New Guinea. This one's not bad. Reminds me of the Australian two dollar coins. In a simple way the uh, colours have been put on. Yeah. New, Ze New Zealand had a 50 cent coin, so a little bit better in the, the way the colours are put on. And Canada actually does really good circulating coloured coins. Australia is getting better. But because the two dollar coin is very small, it's very hard for them to do much with it. Okay, have a look at the. This will be the obverse because it has the coat of arms on it. And it's 50 tower here, yeah, so that's alright. Beautiful. Not a bad coin. And this is readed on the side. The I think they have a problem with putting reading on this edge here as our de technology develops a lot better we'll get um, better abilities to put reading all around these how many sides one two three four seven sided coin so this is the same as uh, the UK 50 cents or 50 pence not a bad coin I quite like it. Let me know down below what you think about this coin and what you think about Papua New Guinea coins in general, please. Give it a thumbs up if you like this coin as well.
and have a beautiful day.